Viewer discretion is advised. Oh shit. I want to play a little game. Wait a minute. Ah. Why would you do that? Nice try and everything, but can we get dicking around? I have a show to produce. And I'm pretty sure I said to wear a costume. I'm a zombie. Dude, it didn't work the... Clever girl. showed up for class. Then, then it all turned to hell. That was only 20 minutes ago. You think I don't know that? Felt like years, for some of us. She was working on her sketch, right up to the last second. Poor soul. Hey man, we left you some food in a pan on the stove. I think it's still warm. Happy Halloween, bitch. Welcome to this episode of The Prank. My name is Emma Gates. Halloween is a holiday we celebrate every year, typically involving trick-or-treating and playing pranks, but to mention a few. However, when celebrating Halloween, Put safety first, avoid deadly pranks, and use common sense to have an enjoyable Halloween. Remember, shorter equals safer. Have a happy and safe Halloween, everybody. First Justice, then Martha. Any word on the others? I guess we presume they're dead. I think we should get out of here. Yeah. 
Hang on. I've been dying of thirst. Oh, also, I finished my trailer. Carla, I don't think this, this is... This Halloween, don't miss. The most terrifying Halloween movie yet. He's been out of the industry for too long. But now, he's back. I can see you. I can still see you. this shit. You are old. Go back to the 70s. Oh. Halloween, Michael versus the 21st century. Isn't this religious? The ultimate battle of good versus evil. Saints and sinners. You're still not having any fun. Ryan, you son of a bitch. Um, I hate to break up this fantastic romance, but we need to go find a place to hide. Yes! Yes! It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> oh, hey guys, what's up? Mother of God. Oh. Tom, what did you do? I've created something beautiful. It all started when I couldn't find a good horror film to watch, so I picked a crappy one instead. Today's film is going to be a recent one. Very recent. How recent? 2012 recent. It just got out on DVD a few months ago, and it went into theaters on March 9th. And what film is this? Well, it's a film you've probably seen previous for, but weren't too interested in seeing. And you know what? John Cusack is happy for that. Ladies and gentlemen, this week's film, The Raven. John Cusack plays Edgar Allan Poe, a down-in-his-luck, transcendental writer who just can't get a break. But when a serial killer tries to make Poe's grisly stories into a reality, and, more importantly, kidnaps his latest love interest, 
Crow must follow the clues and, with a little help from Baltimore's finest, try to put an end to the killings before his girlfriend dies. Isn't that an awesome premise? Now let's forget about the historical side of the film. I mean, to the filmmaker's credit, they're not trying to say that, that Edgar Allan Poe was hunting down serial killers. But I mean, come on, hey, if Abraham Lincoln can hunt vampires, and well, why can't uh, Edgar Allan Poe hunt murderers? It's honestly not an awful idea, but the problem is the film's mystery is just pretty bland and average. It offers the viewers few surprises, and if you're just a little bit familiar with Poe's work, I mean, you just saw that Simpsons episode, you can't help but feel disappointed. You know, a lot of mysteries have the protagonist as sort of a quirky kind of person, you know, someone who's a little eccentric, but you know what, that's the kind of personality that allows them to do what they do. I mean, there's a lot of great examples. There's Sherlock Holmes, there's Monk, there's Columbo. I mean, we all love them for it. And, well, Edgar Allan Poe is an eccentric himself, but here's the thing. Columbo, Monk, Sherlock Holmes, overall, the difference between them and Edgar Allan Poe is that they were actually likable. The film portrays Edgar Allan Poe as a jerk who's full of himself, and maybe that's what he was like in real life, but if you want your film's protagonist to act like that, then you can't be too surprised if people don't really care whether or not he succeeds in his mission. Philistines! You wouldn't recognize an authentic American literary voice if it hissed in one ear and slithered. Could the girlfriend's dad please put him in his place? Thank you, good job. And you want to know the most insane part of the film is that at the very end, the filmmakers hint that the killer goes to France because he plans to do to Jules Verne what he did to Edgar Allan Poe. I repeat, Jules Verne. I mean, Poe makes sense because he had all these murder mysteries, but what is he going to do? throw people down a gigantic hole to uh, recreate Journey to the Center of the Earth? Or, uh, I don't know, maybe you get sick of giant squid on a ship and like, Jules Verne, you gotta write more stuff or else I'm going to shoot a bunch of people in a cannon towards the moon and... Hang on a second, that actually sounds like a great idea. I'm gonna be writing that script. Anyways, thank you very much, I'll see you next time. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. And so, I went and I wrote my Jules Verne serial killing script. But everybody in screenwriting class laughed at me. All my friends and colleagues wouldn't take me seriously. And so, I decided just like the antagonist in the film, I would make my horror a reality. <laughs> what the? Ah! 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 Man, what the f <laughs> We're gonna die. We're gonna die. <laughs> hey, look, we've made it this far. You should be proud of that. I believe in both of you, and believe me when I say, we are going to live. I forgot about that guy. So, you think you got what it takes to stock these streets, Rook? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My man. Alright, kid, this is your training day. Showing you the ropes. I got 158 kills. Stocked both Camp Crystal Lake and Elm Street. Now, I don't expect you to reach that level, but I ain't holding any hands either. I ain't babysitting. Got it? Hey, Jason. Jesus, Gary, what the hell? Uh, new slasher in training? Sure looks that way. Seems that uh, not la long ago I was in that seat. Feels just like yesterday. Well, if uh, you ever need any assistance, you know who to call. 
Yeah, see you around, Gary. Bye. Who was that? Gary Saw. Jigsaw's younger brother. I... I didn't know Jigsaw had a younger brother. When Jigsaw got sick, he wanted Gary to take over his legacy. Asked me to take him out, show him what's up. He just couldn't do it. You remember when Jigsaw made that guy reach for a key in a jar of barbed wire and salt? Gary had a similar idea. He made the guy reach into a jar of soda and pop rocks for a key. Underneath the key was an invitation to his dinner party. Jesus. Nice enough guy. I just feel bad for him. I mean, he's just not very good. I feel bad for Jigsaw, too, because I don't. I lost track who kept up with his legacy after Gary failed. Nice job there, Ru- <laughs> No! No, no, no. What is the number one rule when it comes to a female protagonist? Um... You kill all the friends, you stalk for a while, and then you kill- You know what? Just get the f*** out of here. You, you're done. You've lost your privileges. I ain't dealing with you anymore. Man. Michael Myers is gonna have on me for this one. <laughs> Got ya. Nick, what the hell did you do? I haven't seen you since we filmed your sketch. It's getting late. I don't know if I want to stick around and wait for Dare for much longer. Yeah, let's get out of here. Hold up. Sure took your sweet time getting here. Sorry. Eric Dillon, this is Mike. I want to bring him to the Midnight Society. Nice to meet you. Alright, whose turn is it? It's mine. No, that's bullshit. You went last week. It's bullshit. You went last week. Shut up and get on with it. Submitted for approval of Midnight Society. I call this story the Hockey Mask Killer. The Hockey Mask Killer? Yeah, the Hockey Mask Killer. It all started late one foggy night on a college campus in a small rural town. Two teenage students wandered the halls of a closed down school. The two found a nice couch for them to mingle on. This is ridiculous. Little did they know. That they weren't the only ones there. What did you say? That they weren't the only ones there. That there was a hockey mask killer with a machete stalking them. And that he wanted revenge because they ran his mother over and threw the body in a ball pit at McDonald's. How did you know that? Everyone knows that story. Nice job, Dinglebutt. All right, submit for the approval of the Midnight Society. I call this one, The Moonwalker. The Moonwalker? Yeah, Derek. The Moonwalker. It starts with three college students trapped in their university. There's only two. I'm getting there. The third one's a werewolf. Another one too, huh? Yep. Child's play. Fun. You tell a story. Alright. This one's called... Loot. 
It starts off in a field not far from here. A hitman waits for his target. The thing is, his kill is sent from the future. And it's not just anyone, it's himself. Are you f***ing kidding me? That is the worst plot ever. Yeah, he's right. Mike, that was really disappointing. Let's go, guys. Wait! It, it gets better! Hey, Mike. Oh, come on! It's a good story! It gets better! Who's out there? Derek? Derek? Hey man! Woo! Well, yeah, I got your props for this sketch and I've been practicing. I already filmed my sketch. And she's like super dead. No, no, this, this is a, he's a prop. I don't have a prop machete. No. Oh. What did I do? <laughs> oh my God. We finally bought our first house. I don't know, there's something weird about this house. What? Come on, I think it's perfect. Plus, we got it just in time for a road trip to Forks. Road trip! Are you sure it's the best time for that? I mean, we haven't even unpacked yet, and we only adopted Cynthia a few hours ago. She hasn't said a word since we got her. Is that normal? Oh my god, you're bleeding! I'm not crazy. Can't stop it. Oh. Can't stop the bleeding. Oh, oh God. Coming this Halloween. Don't waste your time with a plot. Don't waste your time with tedious dialogue. No script. We know what you want. More blood. More blood. The blood in You're stuck in here forever. Come on, let's play. This is f***ed. 
Found it. Just got a real. Right, right, no.